how to get 5 terabytes of lifetime OneDrive cloud storage. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be delving into how you can get 5 terabytes of free cloud storage. And you might think that this might be, you know, from some scammy website, but it's on Microsoft OneDrive. It's their developer program. And if you create your account and follow these steps, you are also going to be able to use this life hack to get five terabytes of storage. And you can even multiply that 16 times. So I'll show you guys exactly how. Now to get started, we're not gonna waste any time because this is a bit complicated. It takes a little bit of time. So the first thing you're gonna do is go on to developer dot microsoft.com you don't want to go on to microsoft 360 you don't want to go to microsoft.com you want to head on to developer.microsoft.com once you head on over to this particular link click on join now on their microsoft developer program now once you click on join now you're going to use a new account you don't want to use your pre-existing account you're going to click on create one over here and once you click on create one you're going to create your free microsoft account so over here you can create your account to get a new email address you're going to click on get a new email address and we're going to be using and after that i'm going to add a number tutorial sample mail 2023 so i'm just going to find a mail address that is not taken so hope this is not taken already but we're going to create our new outlook account this is a very essential step to do because you need a new account for this to join the developer program because a lot of time people's other accounts already have a bunch of things linked to them so we're just going to be using a simple password over here and you're going to click on next once you have created your password we're going to be able to create our account so we're going to click on next over here and you have to complete your verification so once you do that you're going to choose the one that fulfills your verification so we want to make sure that our verification is correct so we have two of these items that we are supposed to be able to see i think this is the one and this takes a little bit of time because it's a pretty long, pretty long item. We're just going to proceed over here like this. And we're going to continue on over here. Just verify this. It might take a little bit of time, but it's very worth the fact that you're getting five terabytes of free storage. I think it's really not that difficult to complete, you know, this verification. So we're just going to complete it like so. And once this has been completed, we are going to match this again. So once your verification has been completed, you're going to head on over to your next step, which is going to be your Microsoft developer account. So once our account has been created, you guys will see this is going to lead you to your Microsoft 360 developer center. Keep in mind, you should be on your developer center. So after that, it's going to ask you for your country or region. You're going to enter that and then you can enter any company name it really doesn't matter so we're going to just add a company name over here and then you're going to continue and accept the terms and conditions and then after that you're going to click on next on the bottom now next up you're gonna answer these questions and we're just gonna answer them however it really doesn't matter so just answer these questions and click on save over here now once you do that you want to click on instant sandbox this is very essential always select instant sandbox so once you do that you're going to scroll down and then click on next now after that you're going to choose your particular data center where you want to store your items so you can choose any data center and then you are going to choose your admin username and you're going to create a password so just create something that you're going to be able to remember and then after that, you can also use a alternate password, but we don't require that. So we're going to click on continue over here. Now, from here, you're going to proceed with your phone number. So we're just going to add that. And then you're going to click on send code over here. Now, this will send a code to your phone number. And I already have uh, created my account using this number. So I'm just going to head on over to my dashboard and we can click on next over here. 
making sure everything is functioning. So I'll show you guys the next steps from this process. So once you have verified your password, once you've verified your phone number with the code, you're going to go into your Microsoft 360 account or your Microsoft developer account. It really doesn't matter from here. You're just going to log on to your account over here. So I'm just going to continue on and click on sign in on the top right. So now once you have completed your phone number verification, this is going to be your dashboard. Now, sometimes it might take you back into Microsoft 360. So don't worry about that. If it takes you back to Microsoft 360, you can just open up Microsoft 360 and you can just log on to your account as you normally would. But what you're going to do is if you are logged on directly into your account, you can just open up your account over here. I'll show you guys step by step how you can proceed if it redirects you to microsoft 360 so if it does redirect you over here you're going to click on admin on the left panel to get access to your developer section and this is our developer section over here now what you're going to do is go into your developer program click on my dashboard over here and this will open up your uh, actual dashboard for your developer account. So over here, you're going to see your domain name in your developer program. And you can click on go to subscription on the left side over here to take a look at your subscription. So we can go on ahead and use the sample password that we created and log on to these dummy accounts. So what it does is that it provides you with sample emails and each one of these emails has five terabytes of storage with this developer program so now if i log on to microsoft 360 now you guys can see this is our, our sample account over here and what you're going to do is just skip through these and then you can go into your outlook you're going to go into your outlook in your administration section and once you're in your outlook you can go ahead open up your onedrive account and you will find that you have a storage for each of your accounts so in this way you can get started with your storage and you guys can see it does say that it has you know your storage for only 90 days however the microsoft developer program just refreshes itself or it just resubscribes it to itself and you usually get like six months of this for free so although this is pretty high in terms of any comparison that you can make to any other free plan you do have to keep in mind that you are using this for a limited amount of time eventually after six months you would have to pay for your storage because the developer program is not going to auto renew after these initial months so in this way you can get started with you know building your own storage for free and having such a large storage for free with microsoft onedrive it's pretty simple and if i go into onedrive over here you're not going to find it in your personal onedrive account your storage is going to be on your sandbox and on your actual onedrive account that is linked to your business or developer program so you guys can see we have our developer program and that is why it is so essential to use a new mail or a new outlook address because if you already have one you're not going to be able to get access to your developer program so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you guys can see you have multiple different types of you know technologies you can enter just add your basic um, you know tools that you want to use and you can add your languages as well and click on apply and then click on save over here just to make it easier for Microsoft to be like, oh, OK, you know, this person is using the developer program, so they would need the storage. And in this way, you can actually have your account preferences and you can also link your accounts over here to get access directly to your developer program storage basis. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and I will catch you guys in the next video.